Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see, how to create, cinematic trailer title animation in After Effects. So without any wait, let's see the preview. To create this trailer title animation, you need, pre-rendered flare media file. You can download this file from below link in the description. Here I have already imported the flare media file. If you want to know how to create this flare pre-rendered file, then let me know in the comment section. I will create a separate tutorial on, how to create your custom flare media file. So now let's start creating our trailer title. Create a new composition. Name it as trailer title. Set frame rate to 30 frames per second. Let's set time duration to 4 seconds. Now let's create a new solid. Name it as background. This will be our background layer. If you want to set any background color, then you just need to add fill or amp, from effects and presets. Now let's add our text. Here we will use a Vengeance Heroic font. You can download this font, from below link in the description. Now let's align the text to center. Now let's animate our text. Now under the text, go to more option. Change anchor point grouping to line. Now change grouping alignment for Y axis to minus 50%. Now from animate, select tracking. Now in range select a 1. Make sure you are at start of the timeline. Now create a keyframe for offset. Now change offset value to 100. Now go at 20 frames. Change offset value to minus 100. Now in advanced. Change based on to characters excluding spaces. Now change shape trend down. Change easy low value to 100%. Now let's add property, select opacity. Now change opacity value to 0%. Now you can see the preview. Now go to add, from property, select scale. Now let's increase the scale value. Increase it up to 300%. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Let's increase the scale value to 500%. Perfect. Now let's add gradient color effect to our text. Now go to layer. From layer style, select gradient overlay. Now in gradient overlay, let's edit gradient color. Now you need to adjust the gradient color, as I am going to show. Create color stop wherever necessary, and change the color.
Now let's pre-compose the text layer. Name it as text. Now create a duplicate of text composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create a duplicate. Now select the second text composition. Now go to layer. From layer style, select gradient overlay. Let's edit gradient color. Now change the color for gradient as shown. Create color stop wherever necessary, and change the color. Perfect. Now press S to bring up the scales. Unlink the scale. Now for X axis change scale value to 99%. Now create a duplicate of text composition. Now for X axis change scale value to 98%. Perfect. Here our gradient part is over. Now select all the three text composition. Pre-compose them. Let's name it as text FX. Now change text composition to 3D. Now let's create a new camera layer. Now create a new null object. Change it to 3D. Now parent camera to null object. Now for null object press P to bring up the position. Now come back to start of the timeline. Now create a keyframe for position. Now change position value for Z axis to near about 300. Now go at end of the timeline. Change position value for Z axis to minus 600. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now let's add flare media file to timeline. Now for the flare media file, change mode to add. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset, search for brightness and contrast. Add it to adjustment layer. Now change contrast value to 15. Now in effects and preset, search for exposure. Add it to adjustment layer. Now change exposure value to 0.25. Now let's create a new solid. Name it as the frame. Now select rectangle tool. Now draw mask as shown. Now change mode to subtract. Perfect. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. 
Similarly, you can create more titles, and make your own trailer. Here our simple trailer title animation is complete. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then make sure to like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.